Hello and welcome back to AmbiV. I'm Casper and today we're going to annoy some Ford purists by replacing the power steering system in the 1967 Mustang. Laid out here, you see all the components of the CJ Pony Parts Borgensen power steering conversion kit. This is the kit specifically for cars that already had power steering that are being retrofit over to the Borgensen box. So the main components we're dealing with here are the Borgensen steering box. This has the gearing assembly as well as the boosted assembly for the power steering. We then have a manual adapter, which is part of the system required for an existing power steering car in order to delete the Ford power steering components. We then have this rag joint adapter, which is used to adapt from the Borgensen steering shaft back to the Mustang steering shaft, which will be the only actual major component of modification we will do, which involves cutting the steering shaft. Other than that, I just have new hardware and my hoses to adapt from my existing power steering pump to the new Borgensen box. So let's go ahead and dive into the project and see if we can't get this thing done.
Well, there we go. A large portion of the internet should be very unhappy now that I've removed all the Ford components from my Ford. The 67 Mustang now has the Borgensen unit installed. Everything went smoothly. I would say if you were going to tackle this job yourself to a lot about a day if you just want to do the basic installation, but I would probably a lot two or three days if you want to be able to paint and give things time to cure. I painted the pitman arm, so I let that dry overnight, but it wasn't totally dry when I went ahead and installed it. Ultimately, the hardest part of this whole thing is dealing with the dirty and rusted components of the original system, getting them out of the way, and dealing with the massive nut at the bottom of the old steering assembly. The nut that attached the pitman arm to the original components was so stubborn, I had to use my three-quarter drive set with a cheater pipe and a 34 millimeter socket, I believe, and it still barely came loose. So I was afraid I was gonna break something. But if you're doing this in a garage, you would probably want this thing fairly high off the ground so you had room to really pull on it and have it stable enough the car wasn't gonna move on you when you did. I hope this video was interesting to someone out there. If you guys like it, please subscribe. That lets me know you want me to keep making more. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video.